Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Ethan, and you guys are awesome. And what is awesome is the doctrine of passing. But before we get into that, I have got uh, my Trials of Osiris rewards coming up later today with all my armors that dropped and the weapons that I got. But I wanted to talk specifically about the doctrine of passing right now because I've seen an influx of this weapon in Crucible, and um, I, I never had it until yesterday. So this is the first game you're seeing in the background of me using this weapon, and it was kind of weird at first because I'm not used to any kind of auto rifle at all. But then to go to a high rate of fire, low impact one, it made it even more difficult of a change to get into. But I have to say this gun is amazing, especially with the rolls and perks that I got on it. So at the 7 win mark this week for Trials, you get a Doctrine of Passing drop for anyone who gets to those 7 wins. And mine, I believe, got a godlike roll. I'm, I'm not sure if there's any better rolls. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But I got Persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. Counterbalance for increased stability. But also Braced Frame for further increased stability. And it reduces the magazine size. I think the magazine size goes from 66 to 54 or 53. Um, but, you know, it's still enough bullets in the clip to actually kill people with this weapon. So... Um, I love this weapon, I've got to say. The the first time I used this in this gameplay you're seeing right now, I still felt like I was capable of killing people. Like Once I practiced with this weapon, learn it, learn my ranges, learn the recoil control patterns, and just have general experience with the weapon, I feel like this could possibly be the best weapon in Crucible. And I have seen a lot of influx of Doctrines of Passing. I believe everybody has, because it seems to be the go-to weapon at the moment. But it's a shame because with that being the case and it being so good, sooner or later it's probably going to get a nerf to it because people will complain about it. But for right now, I love this weapon. I think it's fun. I think it's, you know, you're capable of getting really good kills and being really, really consistent with it. But it's not so overpowered in my opinion that you can just wreck face unless you are like extremely skilled in Crucible, which I am not. But I do love that this gun gives me a little bit more of an edge to my gameplay. I'm an auto rifle guy in most games that I play. Um, when the beta was out for Destiny, all I used was an auto rifle because they were godlike then. And I do miss having that spray down weapon where you don't have to connect every shot. You could just spray, you can hit the body, you don't have to be precise. And still put pressure on and maybe kill people. So I'm super excited to have this weapon. I just wanted to let you guys know my roles on it what I think of it, and I think it's a great weapon, but I also want to know what you think of it. Do you hate it being used against you? Do you have it and use it and like it? If you don't like it, why? But also I'd like to know if you feel there's a better role in perks than the one I got that you just seen. So hit me up in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you wish to. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.